Gun in Gamers here. I got some great news for many of you that have been asking for my Farm Simulator map. We have a working download link below uh, with my map that you guys can download, and now I can share it with you. Back in Chorlog 7, I asked uh, if anybody knew of anything that was legit and free as far as allowing me to upload files over 100 megabyte. That's where most of them cut off. And one of my viewers, Thomas Sims, answered the call and reminded me about Google Drive. Now, I thought that I had checked out Google Drive a while back, but maybe they had just made it now where we can do more than 100. I'm not sure. There's actually quite a bit. You can put some pretty big files on there for free. Uh, pretty awesome stuff, and uh, anyway, we got it on there. It works great, and Thomas has already been enjoying the map for a couple of days, so thank you again, Thomas. Um, I got a quick, well, I got a little bit of a video at the at the uh, end of this commentary to let you guys know uh, a few things that are important to get the map working. I mean, the map itself is very simple. You just need two mods to make it work, and that's the wool palette and the water mod. I will put uh, links for those below uh, also, so get those, and then the two optional ones. If you want the straw barn like I have, you can put that. Um, other, And then the other one is the, uh, the fence. There's not going to be a fence uh, right now when you get the map at the chicken yard uh, and the um, where the uh, sheep and the cow are uh, there's no there's no fence there that's a placeable mod that I wouldn't put in so get that drop them in do it yourself very simple five minutes to be up and running so other than that I just ask you if you do download this to please give me a like put a comment let me know what you think about it keep in mind that I did this back in uh, a year and a half ago, long before I had a YouTube channel, so I never intended it to share, so when you load it up, there's no pretty pictures and things like that. And that's pretty much why I don't wanna, didn't want to share it on FSUK, because they require all that stuff to be done. So, other than that, make sure if you have not checked out my Twitch, get over there. Please follow me and uh, check out some of the stuff I do over there. I've been doing a whole lot of stream in the last two weeks, three weeks now. And I appreciate those of you that have followed me over there. Thank you so much for being loyal. And enjoy this video. And most of all, enjoy this map. Thank you. All right, well, I'm sure many of you have already downloaded the map, and I want to just go over a couple of things that you're going to need to do in order to make this map work, and a couple of things that I want to mention here so that I'm not bombarded with the same questions uh, on my map here. So this map is, uh, there's no pretty picture, and it's just called FS 2013 Default Map 1, version 1. Um, I've actually edited, done edits to my own edit about uh, 10, 12 times, uh, the last one was September of 2013. Uh, the first one was uh, in October of 12, is just days after it came out. So you're going to need to place the f the zipped file that uh, you downloaded from me. Uh, that's called Blueprint. The reason it's called Blueprint is that is somebody's moddable version of the Hagenstead map. Uh, when when the game came out. Uh, the day that it came out, there was no way to mod the map, and uh, some gentleman within a day or two uh, came up with a moddable version, which he put on FSUK and called it Blueprint. I took that, and uh, then I was able to go in and edit the Hagenstead map. So, that is the reason that it's called Blueprint. Please do not change the name. Uh, do not do anything to it. Just place that zipped file right into your mod uh, farm simulator 2013 mod folder and everything will work peachy um, we're gonna jump in so I can explain the other two things that you're gonna need now you'll see here that I've gone ahead and uh, not really even bothered to put pictures uh, again this was not something I ever planned on sharing this was just for me and I thought was the point um, but I did add some uh, some stuff two years ago here to to it and uh, the first one here we'll see right away I went ahead I still don't know the purpose of these horseshoes but all 100 of them are in the driveway uh, I went and had a lot of fun finding the bottles in uh, Farm Simulator 2011 and that did give us discounts on buying equipment things like that but these horseshoes I still have not found the purpose for them um, and nobody knows, nobody knew. Now now they might, you know, there might be something, but the last time I checked a year ago, nobody had still found out what the heck they were any good for. So anyway, you'll get them in this map. Uh, if, if you don't have the achievement, well, there you go. I guess that's the only cheat that I've ever done in here. Uh, so uh, you'll see all the changes. We'll run around and take a look at some of the changes. Here's my nice little garden. This is the Garden of Aiden. You must keep calling it that. <laughs> 
uh, Aiden really liked it when I put all the flowers and the trees in here, so I thought, well, that sounds like a good name. But uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and run around and uh, take a look at what we got to do here. Now, first off, you'll notice that we have obviously our regular trough here that you're going to uh, put cut grass in. But we have the water mod. You need to download the water mod. Um, I'm imagining if you don't uh, that uh, the map won't work or maybe it'll just have a big open uh, gap here. I'm not sure. But download the water mod. I've already placed it and done all the other work. Uh, so that way you got water. This will give your your wool a 10 percent on product, uh, you know, productivity. So if they have grass and you're giving them water, you'll get 110 percent, which does again help you get more wool. And uh, with with the cattle, it'll be 10 percent more on the milk. So very simple. Now one thing you guys can do, which I haven't, I like to keep it a little bit harder. You could go down here and get these water mods off the FSUK website or the main farm sim website for ten dollars you could place one right here and uh, let's just say we put it there and now uh, you should be able to back up the water trailer right here and uh, if you left it hooked up to like a tractor you could get any tractor uh, you should be able to constantly refill the trailer and then refill this uh, it's kinda goofy but I'm assuming that'll work. If not, if it, if it won't do it all in the same place, just put your pipe right here. Uh, you can fill and back up. You got 10 feet and you got it all done. So um, I just haven't done that. I like to keep it a little bit more r realistic, but uh, that's one thing you guys can do. So that's the th that's something you're going to need is a water mod. And the second one is the wool pallet mod. Now I've gone ahead, your wool pallet spawner is actually well it's hiding underneath this section right here this is where the pallets will spawn in and this is the wool pallet mod so once that pallet gets full instead of just sitting here not doing anything this handy dandy machine will slide it down you can fit up to 16 on here and I park my pro uh, professional transport trailer right here so that I can just hit one button load them all and go and when this thing's full of wool and you bring it to market, you'll have at least uh, over sixty thousand dollars in wool, and it doesn't take long, especially if you're like me and you have four or five hundred sheep. So, gotta have the wool pallet mod. Again, all the work of setting this up and doing this is done for you. You just need to have that mod in your mod folder, and everything will work. So, over here is uh, another thing you'll see. We've got openings in the fences. And uh, I'd like to point out that you do not have to worry about your animals getting out. There is a mesh that uh, they won't go outside of that, that navigation mesh. Um, and another thing to point out too is you will see sheep. Uh, I, have, I had the clipping off on, on these buildings, but there was some glitch and then it wouldn't turn it off again uh, on, a fir on a more recent edit. So it's back on. And so what the sheep do is they actually walk up and over the building so it's kind of funny because you will see sheep standing on top of this shed and uh, what I should have done is erased or moved the navigation mesh around these sheds so they didn't try to walk over here but uh, it didn't get done and I'm not going to go in and do it now it's no big deal it won't cause you any problems but uh, that's the only error or glitch I, I guess I can say that I have but as you can see I added that in I wanted to have some realistic looking uh, building you know they need some kind of cover to go under um, and we spruced up and added a lot of trees and things. One, one of the things I spent a lot of time, which I have over, well over 100 hours of editing in this map, is just adding a lot of beautification, I call it. A lot of trees, just adding a lot of things and moving a lot of it, things like trees that were annoying and in the way. You can see that I flipped this shed around because I like having nice open areas to drive and move equipment. And I added these trees over here to make this more beautiful. And these two fields I use for grass, if you've seen my videos. But uh, you got room to place. Uh, another thing I really like to put around are these. Uh, well, this is a newer one I haven't used, but uh, the loading ramp. These suckers are really handy, and I love to be able to place them all over so that I have I, I'm able to load uh, vehicles and equipment, things like that. So that's why I deleted the shed here. Um. Basically, you guys know now what you need to have, those two mods, and then the the gates. I'll show you what you got to do there. This can be had from the Farm Simulator website in their mod section, I believe. 
Um, all you gotta do is, we're just gonna do a really quick job. Uh, just place them, just like that. I don't know if that's even backwards, but uh, when you guys do yours, you could just uh, take your time and uh, place them so they look nice. Yeah, this is this is backwards. You want to have... Well, it doesn't really matter. This I have this... Maybe that is the way I have it. I don't know. It's going to open this way. Maybe that's the way I do have it. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> you got that there, and if you uh, care to put those... And then up here in the chicken yard... Now you can see I flipped that shed again. I like big, nice open areas to drive my equipment. I did not like having the shed facing the other way. So part of that is we made our chicken yard a lot bigger and made it look nicer with a lot of trees and bushes. Um, I also enabled uh, turn to collision on two walls and have all the eggs spawning in here. So you won't have to run around picking eggs up off fence posts and the ground and everywhere else. Um, there's a hundred eggs and I believe there's about, well, it's, there's a hundred exactly, so I believe I put exactly 50 in each. Um, and you can go, uh, and walk into, uh, everything except this area right here. So you can walk through these walls. Just walk inside, pick up all your eggs, and walk out. Same thing with over here, you'll have another 50 eggs over here. So you won't have to run around picking eggs up everywhere. Um, you'll notice you have uh, one of these troughs. This is water right here. You'll be able to back up once you place your gate. You can have your gate automatically open with the vehicle. Back up, dump your water, and I use Unimog because it's smaller and it's so handy. This only holds uh, a thousand or something grain. This is wheat, uh, so you got your wheat is going to be right over here. Just take your Unimog, back up, dump your wheat in there, and that gives you 5% on uh, your egg production, and that gives you 5%. So you got 10%. Again, with the wool and the milk, it's 10% for the water. So you got to have both of these going, and you'll get a 10% on the eggs. So anyway, um, and then you'll have to put a pedestrian door over here. You'll have to place that in as well. So that's pretty much about it. Um, one of the things that I have... I guess I can't show you over there. We'll just grab our little pipe here again. One of the things that I have over here at the cow yard, if you've watched any of my videos or my stream on Twitch, you will notice that uh, our farmyard is a whole lot better. I got rid of the mountain. Just made it a lot better. You can drive around. Um, basically, I have the straw barn right here. 250000 it costs. If I was you, for 14000 you can get one of these sheds. I would just put another shed over here. Or just put your hay bales, uh, hay and straw bales out here in the open. I, I don't think that the mod is kind of cool and all. It's got a ramp and all that. But honestly, it, I'm really thinking about deleting it. I think that it would mean that all my bales will end up on the ground out here. Which will be kind of a pain to move. But... I'd rather have one of these sheds. It's 14,000 versus 20, 250,000. And these things are much easier to drive in and much more room. So you guys could place another one there. I left this area for my greenhouses, uh, which this area would work great for that too. You've got close proximity to the manure, which you'll need to haul and fill all your, your greenhouses. And I placed water down here for you guys and gals to have close proximity to the water. Um, you'll notice over here also that we have water mod again. Uh, I'm assuming we got water right here, which is pretty easy, but I'm assuming you could place a uh, spigot out here somewhere and just keep filling the, the trailer and unloading it. If you want to be lazy, you'll have to place another gate right here. I open that up. Uh, of course, you can see I added dirt, make it a little more realistic around where the cattle would walk a lot, and uh, added some trees, but I left that... Uh, took and made that opening where you can put a gate so you can get in here and mow this uh, for the grass if you if you choose to. You'll see we've changed uh, where you can, you don't always have to, if you want to drive through here, you don't always have to drive over your big lump of silage and catch air. You can uh, go around it this way. And I've added this road up here. It's kind of hard to go through with all the things that I've done, guys. It's just it's been ridiculous. My OCD Got the best of me many times in here, and I had to move trees. I moved trees over here that were in the way when you used to have to mow on that mission. 
made it where you can clip through all these golf tees because I used to hit them all the time. I wouldn't see them. Uh, now you just drive through them. Um, I've added this over here, added a gas station. Uh, just moved these buildings around. I made it, put a big shed over here with the pallet spawn inside. Most of the pallets I have it coming, uh, going inside buildings now. Um, made this field bigger. Just a lot of things with adding little trees and moving things and uh, made a road going around this way over here. We've got um, we've got this. I don't think I did anything to this here, but I did add this road. Not there. Here I did. Added this. This is really nice for the missions where you got to go from the golf course to the biogas. Uh, we skipped a few roads back here that I've added. Changed the way the milk is here. I got rid of the mountain, made this one big field. Y'all have seen this if you watch my videos, but added this road and now the milk truck on the way on the return trip he drives through here and around instead of going down that stupid road right through splitting all those fields up. So the milk truck will drive there. We've got a road that I added here which is just again helps to get to the golf course and those missions quicker. Um I think I deleted a shed. I got rid of a lot of stupid sheds that didn't need to be in here. Added a little road to cut across here. Uh, this, I think, used to be just open gravel. I put some trees to make her pretty. Didn't really change a lot else. I think I did a little around there, but uh, this is really one of my favorite areas. I love having a shed over here, a big shed. We've got... Uh, you know, seed fertilizer, you got all that here, which I forget about half the time. Placed a bunch of these around. Um, now there's trailers you can buy for cheap. They will do the same thing, but we added fuel and just really opened the cow yard. This road just runs up there now. <clears throat> Made our uh, little train, added a few train cars in over here, nothing special. Um, made this a cut across road here, which I use all the time, especially hauling wool. Um, added this road that goes around. We've seen this a minute ago. Not that one. This one. Around the sheep. Which, I, again, I use a lot. And, um, over here, we opened up this, added a little bit. We've got this road that I added to, uh, again, cut down to the depot. Uh, added a big shed down here. Kind of clean this up a little bit. I'm going to do sugar beet in this area. Um, raise the ground buy these railroad tracks so when you're flying through here you don't hit these and go airborne it works really slick looks like the real real deal you know when they raise the road in real life for driving over and I moved this fence back uh, a whole lot so that you can actually drive through here really fast now and excuse me <clears throat> and you can get back here for these missions that are in the back um, added some containers to make it look interesting uh, oh, can't forget about the big choo-choo train. Added a lot of cars and two locomotive. Make that look a lot better instead of one locomotive with one car. <laughs> or two, I can't remember what there was. All the triggers I've reworked in this game so that, like, right here you don't have to get so close to try to unload your grain. It's a big trigger right out here. You just drive up, dump, and go. Uh, same with the fuel. You don't have to be so close now. You can the f All the triggers are all out here. We added a road to get from the farmyard to the depot a lot quicker. Man, do I love that one. Made this. This is a field you guys are going to start with. You can see the original is right kind of in here. Actually, it was right right in here. And uh, this is where the old road was, and there was trees and whatnot. This is the field you'll start with, which is a nice, you know, it's basically those three small fields combined plus the roads and the trees that were in here. So you'll have a nice field to get some get some crops and get some money in the bank a little bit quicker. However, there is no nothing to harvest right now, so you'll have to get planting right away. But at least you'll own one nice, uh, nice size field from the from the get go. Turned the clipping off with Aiden wanted to mow grass in the yard, so there's the clipping is turned off on the clothesline poles and things like that. That's uh, kind of silly, but anyway, um, over here in town. We looked at that. Changed all of these up here as well. Opened this up. Got our pallet moved back so it's not in there so tight. Moved the gas pumps. I place a ramp right here because you can't place things on the farm 
on the farm store. So now when you buy implements and things, if you need to load it in the back of the truck or on something, you can, uh, I put a ramp. You'll, you guys, again, will have to get that mod and just place them uh, so that you can drive it across the street and load it up and go. So you got a nice area to do that. that you can place, place that ramp, and there's your pallet spawn. Uh, move that out. Made it a little easier to drive through here. Um, didn't change anything over there. Added this road here that cuts down to that field, which again, when you're hauling to the co-op, very slick. We have uh, changed a little bit over here with the shed. I added a shed right here. Uh, still got your pallet spawn inside there. I think I moved these build buildings apart so I, could, I have a ramp here. Didn't do a lot over by the biogas except added a few things for beautification. This is the first road that I ever put in here. This one cuts across that field by the farm store and uh, allows you to shoot down and uh, get over to the port to sell. Uh, before, when you sold to the port and especially the depot, it was an all-day trip to get there. Now, it's very simple. Very, very simple. So, should make it a whole lot more better. Um, over here, you've got your uh, pellet spawn inside this big shed. And I place these containers here because I kept forgetting about this weird lip that this edge that goes of concrete and I would hit it and get stuck or go airborne or crash. So I put these here to remind me to stop driving through there and to go here or go around here. <laughs> but uh, just little things like that I've done. Uh, and then of course, like I said before, adding a lot of trees. Got a lot more trees here. So I hope that uh, y'all enjoy this map. Um, there's other things that I'm just not thinking about right now that I've added and changed. Just, you know, making things look better with dirt in certain places and cleaning up some of the grass problems. I love this garden. It's one of my favorite things here. But uh, anyway, uh, that'll be what you uh, were, are going to be getting into if you download this map. And I hope that... Uh, I hope that everybody that does enjoys it. Just uh, I would recommend that you don't share this. Uh, if you want to have a friend or somebody get a hold of it, send them to this video, please, and just have them download it directly from me. If you share this, you risk, I don't know, getting in trouble because of the water mod, wool pallet mod, and whatever else I did here that if you don't give the right credit and all this, that, and the other. Please, if you download, don't forget to comment. Let me know how you like it and definitely give me a like on this video. And uh, if you haven't subbed to my channel yet, do that as well. And uh, jump over to Twitch while you're at it and follow me on Twitch so you can watch all of my live streams. If you do have other questions, feel free to post them, but hopefully I answered all of them right there for you. And uh, that's pretty much about it. I definitely appreciate you all coming by and thank you all for all the subs and the dedication of watching my videos. And until next time, take care.